today's tutorial I'll be using Dermal Studio Anti-Pilling DK Yarn in the shade French Rouge. You'll need a crochet hook, I'm using a 4mm crochet hook, you'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. Here's my swatch for the bobble stitch. As you can see it is absolutely bursting with texture. You only need to know a couple of stitches to make this stitch so I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, so to start we want to make a slip knot. Insert your hook. We're going to chain in multiples of two. Okay, I've got 16 chains there. Now the first chain here, next to your hook, will be our turning chain. So we're going to work into the second chain from the hook, this one here. We're going to work a double crochet, which is UK terms. In US terms, that will be a single crochet. Okay, so we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and pull through two. And then into the next chain along, again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so just double crochet all the way along the chain. You can pause the video if you like and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I've just worked the first row, which is a row of double crochets. We're now going to go on to row two. So we're going to chain three and turn your work. Now to make the bubble stitch, the first one's going to be slightly different to the rest. Okay, so this one you need to remember this one. This stitch here, this chain three here will count as a stitch. Essentially, bubble stitches are made up of part treble crochets. Okay, so again, that's UK terms, so that would be double crochets in the US. So this one would be our first, and we would make a group of five. So we're going to make another four. So we want to yarn over, and we're going to go into the base of that chain three. So we're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then we're going to stop okay because we're going to make part trebles so we're going to do that again yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop and pull through two and stop and we're going to do that again two more times so yarn over go into the same stitch yarn over and pull through two and then one more time yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two and you should have five loops on your crochet hook and five trebles the chain three will count as a treble so you want to yarn over pull through all five and now into this next stitch here this one here, we're going to work a double crochet. So again, that's UK terms, that's single crochet in US terms. So go straight into there. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That there makes your bubble stitch pop out at the back. So we're are working this will be the back of our work and then when we go to the other side this will be the front but as we look at it at the moment we're popping out that side there so we are going to work into this next stitch here and we're going to work another bubble stitch but these bubble stitches will all be the same slightly different from the first so we want to make five part trebles into this stitch here so we yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through just two okay we're going to do that again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop 
yarn over, pull through just two. And again, just the two. And again, and then one more time. Now at this time, you should have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six. So remember for the first bubble we only had five, for this one we have six, and for each one we will have six. So you can count whether you have five part trebles or six loops on your hook. That's when you know when to stop. Okay, we're gonna go into this stitch here with a double crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Pull that tight and you can see the bubbles form in there. Okay, so now another bubble. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And then keep on doing that until we have six loops on your hook. We have five, so we'll do one more. There we go, six loops. So yarn over, pull through all six, and then work a double crochet into that next stitch there. Okay, I'm gonna carry on across here. You can pause the video and I'll meet you when I get to the end. Okay, I've just worked a bubble stitch and a double crochet, bubble stitch, double crochet, all the way along the row there. And I've got two stitches left. So I've just done a bubble stitch I'll work a double crochet and then a bubble stitch in the last one. Don't worry about your work curling up, that's normal, it will flatten up the higher you work. Okay, so my last bubble stitch will go in that last stitch there. Remember it's five part trebles. So that's two. Three, four, five. So I have six loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all of them. Now on this last one here, because we haven't got another stitch to make a double crochet just to seal it and pull it in, we're going to pull it tight and just do a chain one and push it down and that seals it. Okay, now we're gonna do a chain one and turn your work. Now you can see the bubbles. Okay, now all the way across here, we are just gonna do a double crochet into the top there. So that will be the top of your bubble, the top of the double crochet, the top of your bubble, the top of your double crochet. And as you can see, the top of the bubble is quite a little bit longer than this one. Okay, so depending on how tight your tension is, this one might be quite small, but you still need to go into it. Okay, so we will do a double crochet. So that is insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And again, into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And we're gonna do that all the way across, a double crochet into the top there. So you've got a little curl all the way across. Now the pattern repeat for this is really simple it is just literally a pattern repeat of rows two and three, and that's it. So it was the bobble row, and then this row of the double crochet. 
and that is it. That is all you need to do to create this beautiful effect. So I'm nearly at the end of my row three and the last one will be there. There's the last stitch in the top of that bubble stitch. Another double crochet. So there is your row two and your row three. So then to repeat it, we would just do a chain three. And we'll do exactly the same as we did down here. So remember this one was slightly different. So we count this one as a treble and we're gonna work into the base of the chain three. So we will only work four part trebles. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and we'll do that. And remember this first bobble, we only need four trebles because we have the chain three and we want to end up with five loops on the hook. There we go. So yarn over and pull through all five. And then again, the next stitch will be a double crochet. And then a bobble stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook. And remember from now on, we make five part trebles and we want to end up with six loops on our hook. And one more. There we go, six loops, yarn over and pull through all six. And then a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, you can pause the video if you like and I'll meet you when we get here. Okay, I've got to the end of my row and I'm just about to complete my last bubble stitch. And I have six loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. And then chain one, push it down a bit to seal the bubble. Now we're going to chain one and turn and we are going to double crochet across the whole row. So we're going to insert a hook in the top of the bubble, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. And then into this one here, which is the top of the double crochet from the previous row. So we're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that all the way across a double crochet row. Nice and easy. All the way to the end. Again, we're curling a little bit, don't worry about that. The more you do, the flatter it will get. Get a few more to the end. Last few, one in there, and then one in the top there of the bubble stitch. Okay, so that is your pattern repeat. So the first row we did a row of double crochet, and then row two was the bubbles, and row three was a double crochet row. So that is the repeat you do all the way through, row two and row three. And here's my swatch from earlier, and you can see, here we go, we've got all the pattern repeats, rows two and three, two, three, two, three, two, three, all the way up. There you go, I hope you enjoyed it. That's the bubble stitch.